path of exile begins. Mira el bañado, en la chancla. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme la chancla y el bañado. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. <risa> Eso. I just am surprised that they sort of dropped this on us, and it's been in development for a long time. And so, you know, I just think that people people are, are a little skeptical, a little nervous, a little unsure of what's going on. And I know that me personally, the only thing I didn't like is that it was not clear that this was going on. Another thing to notice here when they when she's running into lion eyes here is that uh, Nessa is not here. There's this dude here instead. The crux of my concern comes in one thing very specifically, and it's always my concern, and that's balance. GGG has demonstrated quite clearly that they fucking can't balance with shit. So now they have twice as much balance that they have to do in theory. This is not surprising, to be honest. I've been the one that said that GGG has been basically just going the blizzard route. And um, this kind of nail in the coffin there. I'll probably get like hated on by the few people that still like me in the Path of Exile community. But oh my god, what a bunch of fucking elitists, dude. Apparently, the apocalypse has come. The end of the world is near. And it is in the form of Path of Exile releasing for Xbox One. Can you guys believe the tragedy? So yeah, one of the fears is that the fear of that development resource would be spent on a version of the game that didn't directly benefit the player. A lot of people have that concern, right? So now they will dedicate time and spend money on a console version that really won't benefit any of the PC players, which is their already existing base. There's also the fear that the PC version would be modified to become more similar to the new console version. And uh, this mostly for, for, for the existing players in Path of Exile, this is mostly an issue of, or the fear of the game being uh, quote unquote dumped down um, to work on a console, removing uh, abilities to make it work on a, a gamepad or, you know, things <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're seeing, uh, first of all, we can see Wendigos, that's the name of the new monsters here. Obviously, completely new tile set. This is the snow we've been waiting for. Do you think Xbox port will be good for the game? Yes or no? Definitely now, there's no discernible difference between Path of Exile and um, uh, Diablo 3. So a lot of you guys think, or the majority of you guys think that it will be good for the game. I uh, agree with that. Your concern that the community will decrease and end up dying because of, of this, I actually, I think it really has the opposite uh, effect. I think we have the potential of getting a lot of new people into the game, expanding the community and uh, building on what we have with the uh, Path of Exile right now. And this kind of looks okay. I think it definitely could work. And for those people that are into consoles, I think this can be a thing. It definitely could um, be fun to just sit back on your couch and play a bit of Path of Exile with your Xbox. Um, it looks fairly smooth. You get a few less skills and like a less, um, maybe a few less skills. It might just be, um, you know, swap over to your secondaries and uh, one less flask. At least that's all we know of so far. 
In any case, uh, it looks okay, and I think for the people that want to play it, it definitely is an option. And it's also going to bring about a lot of extra, uh, more people coming to the game, which to me is always a good thing. How the realm's going to function, PC and console players will be separate, Greg. Chris Walton, yes, the two player bases play on separate realms. This is because the game functions differently in the two versions. Some players are concerned that development time on fixing outstanding issues with the PC version will be soaked up by console development. How are you working uh, this at GGG? The console developers are a separate group hired for that purpose. But are they? As someone who is relatively hypercritical, uh, being... As someone who is... Who is relatively hypercritical... You don't say? As someone who is relatively hypercritical... Relatively. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm <laughs> going <laughs> <laughs> and so your hard-earned support dollars that go towards your support packs or your microtransactions People have been saying that, you know, how dare they use that on console. Chris has already explained a bit that um, because they've done console stuff, they have had the ability to use some of those dollars into hiring people for consoles, and that has improved the PC versions as well. Don't feel too entitled about your support dollars going towards console because you don't think that's what should happen. You don't own any part of the direction that this game is going in, is what I'm trying G -G -G. to say. They have been developing this game for a while now. Of course, they're not interested in driving their game into oblivion. They're interested in their game growing and people appreciating their product because appreciation means money too, right? And obviously there's a, sometimes a difference between what the masses want and appreciate versus the core players. But I don't think those things are necessarily uh, exclusive to to one another you can combine these things sure maybe you compromise in some parts but that compromise can potentially lead to a better product long term till I find it I'll be playing Path of Exile but just fuck GGG simple as that <laughs>